Welcome to episode 12 of Flow's Fundamentals. In this episode, we will cover the fundamental mechanics of the Chocolate Booster Deck. The Chocolate Deck features a few fundamental mechanics from other boosters, so if you are unfamiliar with those, such as Specialty Bunnies from the Violet Booster or Celebrity Bunnies from the Onyx Booster, you should refer to those lecture series. The Semi Super Specialty is partially similar to the Super Bunnies from the Green Booster, with a few reduced mechanics. The main fundamental mechanic of the Chocolate Booster are the Arrows and Kites, also known as the Psi Cards. There are 12 of them, two of each color, the five standards and the color red. When you acquire two of them in your hand and or saved, you have the option in between any two players turns to play both of them. So in this example, I have Dr. Xavier Hair, which is the blue arrow and Indiana Clones, which is the Violet Kite. With both of these in my hand, I can interrupt play in between any two players' turns and use one or both of them. And of course, I will also draw replacement cards. Once more, same example, except this time Z Dr. Xavier Hair is saved. I can again interrupt play in between any two players' turns, use one or both of them, and then draw replacement cards for the ones used from hand. If the arrow and kite happen to be matching colors, in this case Horton hates a who is the red arrow, and Pucker Up is the red kite, alternative to playing them, you can instead discard both cards in between any two players' turns, and doing so allows you to move all bunnies of that color. So in this example, I can move that red sinister and that red gleeful to my area of the bunny circle, stealing them. And as usual, you of course draw replacement cards. This has been episode 12 of Flow's Fundamentals, teaching you the fundamental mechanics of the Chocolate Booster deck. And as always, Jeff Bless.